All right, welcome back to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. This is where we left off in our last tutorial. This tutorial, we're going to basically cover uh, web fonts. So uh, right now, we have some generic fonts uh, applied, generic typefaces applied to the actual uh, uh, website right now, except for the uh, logo, of course. So what I want to do is go to Dreamweaver here. That's the uh, real-time preview. And um, if you want type applied to everything, uh, basically you want that to be applied to the body tag so in the selectors here I already have a body tag so I'm just gonna first click out and then select the body and over here in the type uh, you, you can click on the text to isolate and text there's color and then font family and font family if you click in here you can choose from these font families here but you can also use web fonts under the manage fonts category and that will open up the manage font editor uh, from Adobe so this is pretty cool these uh, web fonts and um, you can choose whichever ones you want you can just check the little box here what I'm thinking for um, uh, let's see paragraph uh, text you know having something with uh, serifs essentially so uh, not sans serif uh, I was thinking sans serif maybe for the H1 but I don't know I might might have it the other way around but let me show you, you can list things by headings, for example, the, the examples for headings here by clicking this guy. And I was thinking about this Amriel flat, uh, fat face for a heading, uh, which might be kind of cool. But we're looking for a body tag, so you can look under paragraphs for paragraphs, um, if you uncheck the other little icon here. And then uh, you can also search by these guys here, so sans fonts here. Uh, and list of serif fonts here just by click on these little icons if you hover over them they kind of tell you what they are slab fonts uh, black letter fonts and so forth um, and they can be really cool to kind of try out and, and see so uh, let's see if we can find some cool paragraph one and um, I'm kind of interested in this and maybe the Rosario I kind of like the Rosario I think this one will be good for the body tag so all I have to do is select it and then pretty much click done and then uh, click into the font family here and it will be down here towards the bottom and I just select Rosario and everything will update okay so you can now see all the type here has Rosario applied now um, if I want to add some backup so like right now it's just the single uh, typeface the Rosario and it would be nice to have uh, backups on here so uh, let's do that. Let's click on here, and you'll notice you can't add them here like you can with these guys. You can you have to click on the manage fonts, and let's do this. So over here in the manage fonts, you can choose the custom font stacks, and here is where you can add uh, your own custom typeface. And look at that, Rosario's at the bottom here is the VO list here because I just added it. So I can click on Rosario here, and then uh, click on the arrow to add it. So um, if I want to add a new uh, typeface, I just click on this little plus icon here, and that will add fonts in the list below. Then you just click on this little area. So now we have Rosario as default, um, which would be the, the main one. And then I can add additional ones below it. So I'm thinking, you know, your standard uh, machines, maybe, um, let's see here. Let's find uh, some other ones. Probably the uh, Calibri would be another good one. So I'll add that. And then um, Arial after that. You should always end with the generic typeface. So we have uh, the sans serif on the bottom, the serif, and the monospace. So Arial and Calibri are uh, sans serifs. They don't have any little extensions. And same with Rosario. So we're going to choose that one and then click Done. And so now, if we click in here, you'll see Rosario. And it didn't look like it added. Somehow I missed the, um, the last one. Let's see here. I'm going to select this. I forgot to add the last one here. So sans serif, add that. There we go. Now we have it done. And then we'll click on it. And here it is, right here at the bottom. So when I add that, nothing has changed in here because it's been added. But there it is. Now I want to show you in the code view where this has been applied. So in your meta area here, you'll see here uh, some JavaScript. And 
it's this link here of this Adobe uh, font family and right here it says Ed's fonts and it has Rosario then it has uh, N4 uh, which is the the weight essentially which I can still add and adjust so it'll add that as I adjust it in in my uh, scene so if I want the weight to be a little bit greater than what it is I can click on uh, show set and it will show me the current font weight which is a 400 I can go up to 700 on here and you can see here I have a larger uh, weight f overall for everything I think the the 400 looks fine uh, I think that looks okay font style they have uh, normal and italic so certain typefaces have more weights and more styles so um, I may end up choosing a different one just because of that reason I kinda like to have some uh, variation but you understand now how easy it is to add uh, any kind of type fish you want now I want to show you real quick how to override more specific type faces so for example h1 we can add a selector for that click on the little plus symbol here and then get rid of uh, everything except for the h1 and then just hit enter return and then h1 if we uncheck show set here uh, we want to click on typeface and the text and then go to font family click in here and again we can go to manage fonts and choose whatever fonts we want so uh, for this one I was thinking this Admiral uh, fat face would be kinda cool so I'm just gonna select that and of course I'd probably want to create my own custom stack but you already seen how to do that so let's just click done and uh, see it applied in here and you can see it here with this uh, h1 tag which uh, looks like uh, oh I haven't uh, selected yet but there it is the Admiral fat face now I select it and you can see it here being updated and let's see we should have some different weights this one only has 400 also oh, that's interesting so I probably am not going to choose this one just because it, it has only uh, one weight again I like to have some variety I mean it, it's not bad I mean if we increase the size especially so if I uncheck uh, show size under um, uh, let's see here click on the text again and where is it font size here uh, we can choose M's EM uh, M's are proportional so they're good for responsive design uh, because it's proportional to the device so if I type in two M's here and hit enter return, uh, that would be good for a nice heading one. And uh, that will be dynamic. So when I scale it down, it will change, you know, appropriately to the device. And then as you expand up, it'll change, modify. Um, again, depending on the type of size you have there. So M's is a great way to work, and um, yeah, so try that out, check it out, and of course create font families. Um, again, I may not ultimately change this, change this. I may want to explore some other typefaces, but that's the cool thing about Dreamweavers, you can come down here, click on the manage fonts, and explore all the web fonts available here. And um, beautiful thing about Dreamweaver is in Code View, you can see it adds everything and changes everything. Uh, so now you see here we have the Rosario and we have the Abriel uh, fat face been added here. So until next time, see you soon in Adobe Dreamover CC. Cheers.